I'm Drunk Dane. I'm Pops. And we are No Chaser. Chaser. What you got on tonight, Jay Hoodie? And I'm already yeah. excited about this. Well, I've been trying to get Pop on here forever. He said, you got to wait till I retire. Mm. Do it when I retire. Well, this past Friday was his last day Ooh, of last work. Day work. He has retired. So, we had a nice little party. Had so, a nice little party. Yeah, we had didn't, a nice uh, little party. He got emotional. He did. I did. <laughs> we didn't. Uh, we didn't let him sit too long before we got him on here. A couple days. Couple yeah, days. yeah. But uh, what have you done for the past three days? Working in the yard. Like, cutting, see, cut, there you cut, go. Cutting down some getting dead trees. Getting, getting, getting stuff done. Getting shit done. That's right. Stuff I didn't right. have time to do. On the lake. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what we got on, Jay Hoodie? <laughs> I bought this bottle six months ago. And I've been saving it for a special occasion. Yeah, I didn't see this one on the shelf. And there's no better special occasion than to celebrate Pop's retirement. Exactly. This is Jack Daniels Sinatra Select. It's a special edition. It's 90 proof. I paid 150 bucks for it. Yeah. And we about to drink it. It did. And let me tell you right now, the packaging on this thing is phenomenal. It is. I mean, the not. I like the orange accent on the top. It kind of gives it off in the bottle. The little select and the text there, if y'all can see that, with a little orange on it. I love that color. It looks absolutely beautiful. And for how much? 150. It better be good. Jay, here to tell them how we do it. We do it on the neat. We do it on the rocks. We shoot it. Rank it one through five, one being throw it the fuck away, and I better not because this was 150 bucks. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> it, be it better at least be a four up on here. You know what I mean? If this is a one, then we're in trouble. We got a problem. We got yeah, a problem. We got a problem. Um, five being buy it again. Yeah. yeah. Before we get into the pouring and the big board, I want to say a couple things. Number one, we don't ever say this much, but like and subscribe. If you like what we do, go ahead and like and subscribe. Number two, the hat I have on tonight, y'all seen it here on this channel before. Do your best. This is a YouTube channel I watch out um, in Oklahoma, sp specifically Sulphur, Oklahoma. It's called Orange Family Homestead. So if y'all know about the tornadoes and things that came through there, this is some of their original merchandise. I like to support them and buy something now and then. Y'all will give their channel a like and subscribe. They've been through um, a pretty rough time down there. And uh, just wanted to support them tonight and throw that out there. All right. Well, I let's feel get kind of bad about my BVB. Well, no, you don't feel bad about BVB because nah, they won man. today yeah. in the Champions League game. So. so, still got the second leg to go. All right, Jay Hoodie, while you pour it up and get us ready, I'm going to go on and do what we always do and get into the big board. At number 10, now I'm looking at my list here because I hadn't updated, it still says Prop 12, but we know that that's that Traveler's Whiskey by Chris Stapleton at the number 10 spot. At number nine, that Four Roses Single Barrel. Oh, that was so good. At number eight, that Wild Turkey Rare Breed, which that's the one that put Jay Hoodie on the uh, bathroom floor Damn. that night. At number seven, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's 116. Yeah, well, you know, oh it's, my gosh. it's Wednesday yeah. night. You it's know what I mean? What are you going to do? <laughs> put anybody on the floor. You know, I work hard for my craft. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, you got to put in the time and the effort to give a proper review. Exactly. All right. Number seven, you ain't seen the last of Elmer T. Lee. At number six, the old man that'll fix your shit down the hip, down the corner, which is now Pops. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you need to start your own uh, liquor brand here. We'll put you on the big that's board. That's right. But that's that Henry McKenna at number five, the most beautiful woman in the history of the state of North Carolina, Miss Ava Gardner. Number four, and I get it right I now. I thought you said it was that girl at the Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 it was. You said Home Depot. Yeah, right, the Home Depot down there. <laughs> you know, they just opened up our Pizza Hut Express. Got a good looking one working there. Just thought I'd throw that out there for anybody that lives in Laurenburg, North Carolina. All right. Number four, and I'm going to get it right this time, Colonel E.H. Taylor. Well, there's it. a first. <laughs> At number He's called him E.T. Taylor, <laughs> E.F. Taylor, e. Dewey Taylor. Dewey Dewey Taylor. <laughs> Finally got it right. He's being he's he's being right for pop. Right? Yeah, that's right. I'm trying I'm trying to be on my best behavior. Right, he's tonight. being professional. Be on my best behavior. He's being professional. At number three, we got that good old Blanton's. At number two, that Eagle Rare. And number one, all time Cody Rhodes, champion of the world is Weldon Mills All Malt, and I wish we could get our hands on another bottle of that. Let's get into it, boys. Well, we do it on the neat first. 
Start it on the neat. Mr. Keith, you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Got nothing to lose now. Can't right. fire you now. <laughs> Can't fire me now. Fire myself. Smooth. Smooth. Oh my God. Smooth. That is smooth. Guys, this is smooth. Very that, smooth. That is. Holy shit. Yeah. That is oh, good. Oh boy. It's got just enough of a little, tiny little bite. A bite. little bite. It's not overwhelming. It's not harsh. It's oaky. The rocks is gonna kill it. Yeah, well, the yeah. rocks is gonna kill it. We don't we don't judge it off the rocks really that much. We just do it for fairness. If yeah, you will. yeah, yeah. But no, this is this is really good. I'm going in for another one right here. Mr. Key, yes, sir. Me also. That is good. Shit, that's 150. I'm probably gonna have to get another one. Either. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. That is. Good. I cannot complain with that. It's got the right amount of oaky. Um, don't get any of the the darker notes. I don't know how to explain this. When I drink, I like stuff to be top heavy instead of bottom heavy. So, uh, for an example, I don't like Guinness. It's bottom heavy. It's dark. I like IPAs. So They're hoppy. So you're, They're a high. so you're a boob man. You're yeah. like our top heavy. Exactly, like, yeah, I'm a boob, boob man. Boob man. Exactly, uh, I'm yeah, a boob man. Like your top heavy. Yeah, I like them top heavy. So. That's that's the way I feel about it. What, what do you say, Mister Keith? I said same, basically, basically the same thing. I like a I like a drink mm -hmm. that doesn't burn as soon as you take a swallow. Right. This is smooth. This is not much burn, just a little burn, but it is smooth. It's oaky tasting. Just enough burn. Just enough. Just enough. Just burn. enough to know that you drink. Let's go in that's for good. one more. I'm gonna give it a smell on this time. It does smell plain. That is the perfect blend of smooth and bite absolutely 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 yeah it's I perfect agree with that. it's perfect and i'm not saying it because it was how much 150 150 a bottle i've said that about stuff that was eight dollars a bottle i mean it it, it really is smooth go in for one more yeah i love that top yeah, end i love too. that top end i don't know how to explain it other than just like i said you got dark beer, you got hoppy, hoppy beer, beer, hoppy yeah, beer, you got the higher, beer, yeah. the, the higher. Now, Jay Hooper don't like hop beer. Nah, I don't like IPA. He likes Guinness. Yeah, yeah, I like Guinness. <laughs> you like a dark beer. He likes yeah. a dark beer. Yeah. So, all right, let's move along here to the uh, on the rocks. And I agree with what y'all said. This is probably going, but we're not going to really judge it nah. off of this. We just do this out of formality. Yeah. But then sometimes it's good like that right there. Sometimes it's oh, good wow. like that right there. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> now see, this is one. I was wrong. This is yeah, this yeah. is one when you come in from work. Mr. Keith don't have that problem no I more. I don't have that problem. You come in from work. This may <laughs> God day day. Day day just farted. <laughs> I'm sure they heard it. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh y'all filming. Yeah. Uh, all right. When you, you come, come in from yeah. work or him when he gets up. Yeah. Morning. When he gets no, done. Not in the morning. When he gets done cutting the grass <laughs> yeah. over here. Yeah. Maybe sometime in the <laughs> yeah. afternoon. No, you can seriously pour this oh, on yeah. the rocks. This is, this is good. good. You can come in. Let's say you're having an afternoon where you just want one stiff drink. You're not trying to drink um, too, much. too much. Yeah. This yeah. would be perfect. Yeah. This yeah. Just a nice little glass. I mean, yeah, you know. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that is that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is that good. is pretty good. I know where I'm going with it right now. We'll see how it turns up. But in the meantime, <clears throat> first of all, Mr. Keith, tell them what you retired from. <laughs> I was a produce merchandise manager. I bought produce for a wholesale company. Mm -hmm. uh, did that for four years. Store manager, retail establishments, and produce supervisor. So. I'm more of my background is produce. Produce. And and before that, you worked at Harris Teeter as a produce manager. Produce manager, yep. And sure. then did you work any years before you were a produce manager in produce or, you know, maybe yeah. under management or whatever? Oh, yeah, and yeah. you worked your way up? Yeah. I started in retail, stocking groceries. It worked my way up into produce. Right. Produce manager, store assistant manager in, in the retail store and store manager. Then after that, got to be a supervisor store supervisor, produce supervisor, and then uh, 
it you know, pineapples. So. Yeah. <laughs> pineapples and gut squeezed the watermelon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, yeah. definitely but, not squeeze the melons. So, produce right. background. So, mm -hmm. I thought tonight, in lieu of a story, which we usually do, we're going to do dirty produce jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple here. A couple of them are one-liners. A couple of them are legitimate story type jokes. And then I got one to tell them all. So we're going to jump into it. Now, this is the least funny one, but my little five-year-old boy humor got a kick out of this one. I got my phone up because I'm going to have to read them. These are not originals, so we do not own the rights to these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I'm going to tell that other one at the end. Yeah. No, you ain't not on this channel. You better save that for the shit channel. That's your, that's your channel. <laughs> I go ahead and tell them. I gotta have work. I gotta go work tomorrow. Hey, if you want to know what that other one was, tune in to episode two of the shit show. No, you can't tell that on. No, we can't tell that one. No, cannot tell that. Join Patreon, <laughs> <laughs> and you'll get that joke. Anyway, here we go. So a man goes to the doctor's office after a long night at the club, and his ass is hurt. He's got an excruciating pain coming out of his ass. <laughs> what kind of club was that? Uh, what kind of club, yeah? Yeah, yeah, well. And he tells the doctor, say, man, my ass is hurting. I don't, I don't know what's going on. So the doctor gets down there and he examines his asshole and he says, sir, we have a serious problem. You have a leaf coming out of your ass. Man says, I got a leaf coming out of my ass. He said, yeah, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay, all right. Uh, all right. All right. I, and I can't tell the other one. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Why, why do vegans give good head? Because <laughs> they're used to eating these nuts. <laughs> And he can't tell that one. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Why don't vegans have sex? Because beating meat is animal cruelty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. All right. What does tofu and a dildo have in common? They're both meat substitutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> shit. Right. Okay, one more one liner, and then I got two story jokes. What do you call a vegan guy who likes to pleasure himself? Don't answer, Jay Hoodie. A non dairy creamer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so here we go. Uh, I got, I got a couple more, 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 a couple more. I should choose better friends. I'm about to well, read this one literally, y'all, because this is a joke that I pulled right. from somebody on Reddit, and I don't know his username, Rat Brat, but I'll give him credit for this because he made this joke up himself, and I thought it was hilarious. So a New York City worker gets lost in the sewers, and is down there for over a week before he's rescued. The local news interviewer comes by and asks him about it once he gets rescued. She said, what was the worst thing about being down there? Was it the cold, the damp? He said, yeah, that was awful, but, you know, that wasn't the worst of it. She said, was it how dark it was? He said, well, that was awful too, but, you know, that wasn't the worst of it. She said, well, was it the smell? He said, no, we're used to that. We do it all the time. She said, was it the rats? He said, no, they were awful, but, you know, they weren't the worst of it. She said, well, what was the worst of it? He said, the worst part of being down there was I didn't have nothing to eat for two weeks but corn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh no. Right, right on Reddit. Thank you 
you for that joke. I want to give you a shout out and your props is not copyrighted so I can use it, but I want to give you a shout out and your props for that. Uh, Let me tell you, Mr. Keith, you know, I listen to a little produce myself. And they say shit's wrong with me. I know, yeah. right. Jesus Christ. So it is, I used to do a little produce myself. Okay. They're, they're the terrorist hater. If you're watching the last video, you'll get that one. <laughs> the terrorist hater. The terrorist hater. The Harris hater. And um, this is a joke that probably a lot of y'all have heard. I'm sure y'all have heard this too, but this actually happened to me and it was hilarious. Standing over there in the produce section one day, culling the tomatoes. Y'all know what culling is if you're in produce. That's getting the bad out. Culling tomatoes. And then we got the zucchini and the squash. A little old lady standing there. She's looking over some zucchinis. She's got two of them in her hand. She puts one down. She's holding one. She finally looks up at me and says, you know what, I better get two because I might want to eat one. <laughs> That's dirty produce jokes. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> drunk Dane, everybody. Drunk Dane. Drunk Dane. Drunk Dane. Yeah. I'll be here all week. <laughs> No, I stole all those jokes off of, like I said, and I wanted to give uh, the Rat Brat on Reddit his uh, due uh, props for that because that was a great joke, that and good that's, joke. That, that's a good one. So, All right, so we're moving along here to the uh, the shooter, and then we're going to give it a rating. It must have been good. Yeah, you see, I still got it. Yeah, I still got a little bit. But I still have back porch shorts to go. I've enjoyed this. That's been good. All right, let's go on in here and do this shooter. Now, this is, you know, that's, this is the tough one for me. This is Jay Hoodie's favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I struggle the with fucking it. fucking main event. Because I can't chase with nothing but beer on the channel. Now, if we were just doing this sitting around the table, I'd It'd have me a, a Diet Sprite or something yeah. like that going on. Yeah. yeah. He was the guy that only had corn for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Hey, man, what else you going to eat? You know, everything else kind of digests in. Corn comes out whole. Yeah, I'd rather eat the fucking you chew it up all you want. I'd rather eat the fucking rat. Yeah, they could have barbecued the rat. Yeah, and the corn. Yeah, that's right. Had the corn the side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Unless you're going carnivore, you want to eliminate those well, carbs. You know well, what I mean? That's true. <laughs> Look, see how shit turned out here? It just escalates from fucking. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So the jokes were good. Oh, yeah. Okay, were good. good, good, good. Oh, yeah. All right, let's All right. do the shooter, y'all, and let's get this thing a rating, see what it do. Still smooth. Oh, all day, every day. Still smooth. It's got that, just that little bit at the end. Yeah. Just a little bit at just the end. Just a little bit at the end. But it's enough. Yeah. It's enough, but it's not too much. Yeah. Not it, too much. You don't get it till it gets about right there. That's yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mr. Keith, go first. Now, uh, tell us what you think about the neat pour, the rocks, and the shooter, and then give us an overall rating one to five. Well, I'll be honest with you. I like each one of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you got on the rocks, you know, we thought it might be watered down, but it's not. It's not. It's, it's, not. Still, it's still smooth. Mm -hmm. You know, the shot, yeah, like Jason said, you get that little bit of burn as it goes down, you know, and that's what you want. You know, the neat, you get a flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, you get the flavor. You, you get, get that oak. Flavor. Yeah, mm -hmm. you get that oak flavor. To be honest with you, I rated a five. I know it's one hundred and fifty dollars a bottle, but I really think it's worth it because it is very smooth. I agree. It's very good. Um, better than regular Jack a little bit. Oh yeah. I mean, regular Jack got that a little bit more of a burn. burn more of a burn. Yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. It's a little bit more regular of a burn. Jack by a lot. But yeah. I really think it's worth it, and I give it a five. Five. Well, it's going on the big board. I'm going to go second, and we're going to give Jay Hoodie the honors tonight. Um, yeah, I'm with you, Mr. Keith. I can't find nothing wrong with it. I I, I'm sitting here trying because that's what I do. The bottle's perfect. The coloring is perfect. The neat pour is perfect. On the rocks would be on the day when you come in and you, you really just want one drink, yeah, just probably. something to settle down after supper, watch the ball game until you get ready to go to bed. The shooter, we can do all night and, and make a party out of this right. thing. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. It yeah. has all the aspects. It's a five for me, and it's not because of the price point. I don't care if it costed $5. It would still be a five. Now, for me, and we'll have to debate this if we need to. It might be some controversy. 
we need to figure out where it goes on the big board because I'm afraid that I gave the Chris Stapleton Tennessee too low of a spot. I did. I rated it at a four. It was definitely a five, and I don't think it's ten on ten the big on board. the big board. So we're going to, have to figure some shit yeah. out here tonight. So it's yeah. a five for me, J Hoodie. It's on you, and then we'll figure it out. There's no wrong way to drink this. Mm -hmm. No, not you can at take all. a two ounce neat bunk and be good to go. You can take a two ounce on the rocks and be good to go. You can shoot this shit all night, yep. and you're good to go. Yep. I mean, there's no wrong way to do this, and it, this is a five. That's Man. a five. Yeah. So we got to figure some stuff out right here. Let me pull the big board back up. Mr. Keith, again, don't look. <laughs> My picture's <laughs> don't so Don't swap left. Don't swap left. Don't swap Teddy. Swap Teddy. Do, 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 what, do not want to know what's on it. Okay, so normally when we put something on the big board, 10 gets bumped off, but I cannot bump Traveler's Whiskey off. I gave well, it We got to reevaluate low. that. That's got to be reevaluated. So we need to look at what needs to come off. And for me, I, I hate to say it, but I think it's got to be the Elmer T. Lee. I'm putting this in at seven. Well, that wouldn't take it off the board. It would take uh, Elmer T. Lee off the board. No. Nah. Does that know how that works? No. Nah. Well, who are we going to bump down? What are we going to do? That's controversy. It's kind of, we need another shot. We need another shot. Shots all around. We got controversy. The, now. Think, we got a big, we got a problem here, y'all. We got a serious I think, problem. I think, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I think the four roses. I was going to say four roses. I think the four roses comes off. That would be my second choice. And I think we can agree on that after we do the shot. We're going to put this at nine. This is going to be Traveler's Whiskey. Traveler's is going to nine. Traveler's is going to nine. Yeah. What's at 10 then? What moves back from nine? Four Roses. Four Roses. And we're taking Elmer T. Lee yeah. off? If you're taking Four Roses off, then Traveler's would go at seven. No, Traveler's goes at nine. We got a problem, y'all. This is the first time in the history of our channel we have a king problem. I know where I, I know where I want to put this. We can't put it at one. It's not at one. We, well, why don't you do like one A, one B, or two A? No, what I do you mean, want? I don't, I don't think it's better than the well. What do you want it at? Two, two, two. Yeah, I would think over Eagle Rare. Yeah, and yeah. then we're drunk. We're dropping four roses off and leaving Traveler's Whiskey at ten. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, we can do that. So two is going to be this. Everything else will move back. Everything will move back one, one, except for four roses, which comes off, off over Traveler's Whiskey. Right. I can agree to that. I can agree to that. Listen, y'all, we got a new contender. We got a new contender for the Cody Rhodes belt right here. This now, one, this is very close to being... A contender with Weldon's, but the Weldon's is 60 bucks. Right. That's the difference. Right. That price. is the difference, right? The price. Um, I would buy, That's a good point. I would buy Weldon's yeah. meals. You got all, all, son. Oh, shit. The show just got good. So <laughs> it went too long. I would buy Weldon's meals all malt <laughs> for 60 bucks before I buy this. I would too. If I here. saw these That's sitting the next to each other yeah. on the show. Yeah, the if, you, if you have them side by side, right. yeah. Definitely That's the difference. Cheaper. Yeah, yeah it is. as yeah. far as taste, they they're right there neck and neck. Yeah. yeah, it's the price point that makes the difference. The reason why I was going low, and and here's the thing, we kind of forget these ones that we've done. You know what I mean? Like we forget about them. Yeah, over because time. you go so long. Yeah, and that's. Mm -hmm. But I agree with him. This is two. We'll bump everything else down. Four roses mm -hmm. comes off. Traveler's whiskey's in at ten. And that's what we're going to do. And that's good stuff. And let's do the shot now that the controversy is over. Right. And I've done spilled. Hey, let's clean up. Only mess. one tonight. Let's clean up your mess. Only one sure tonight. Fall and pop. Probably a record. Yeah. Probably a record. Damn it, Dane. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed the episode tonight. This has been one of our favorites. I can yeah. tell you that right now. Yeah. I don't know if you guys will like it or not, but it's definitely been one of our favorites. Have pops here. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed and, it. Uh, 
Sure did. All right, let's do the shot, and then we'll sign them off and do some back porch shorts. I'm drunk, Dane. I'm Jerry. I'm Pops. We, we are, are no, no chasers. chasers. Let's get to some back porch shorts, people.